This video is sponsored by Voxlink, a social media app made by gamers for gamers where you find new players in their area. More about them later on in the video. What's up folks, welcome back to Tactical Tortoise. My name is Trevi and here on Tactical Tortoise, we take miniature gaming very seriously. And I think as you would agree, miniature gaming might be the most serious tabletop gaming experience in human history. And especially games that are almost 25 years old and no longer actively supported. We're gonna be diving into the long forgotten history of miniature gaming and talking about sixth edition Warhammer Fantasy, but this isn't an incident stemming from back in the misty times of the turn of the century, and instead an event that happened just last week. This image might be one that you've seen over the last week or so being shared around the miniature gaming sphere because a lot of people have shared it around as one of potentially the funniest images that we've seen in a really long time. As you can see, there are a couple dice in this person's set of dice that have multiple phasings set to a five or a six. Now, obviously it should go without mentioning that most dice only have one facing of each individual number. So having multiple sixes or fives is definitely irregular. And it looks like some of these dice might have only fives or only sixes, which is certainly not normal. Now this is from a Warhammer Fantasy Battles tournament, the finals of a tournament, where these dice were used by a high elf player. This player, <laughs> this is so fucking funny. It's, a, I just like, I am I'm have a tough time containing myself. These dice were used by a high elf player in a Warhammer Fantasy Battles sixth edition tournament. They got all the way to the finals of the event. Not actually that surprising if you're using dice with all sixes on them, to be fair, but you know, they, they still got there. Where these dice were being used on stream. Now the channel itself that originally posted this video is Clan Car News. This was the finals of a three round Warhammer Fantasy Battle 6 edition tournament that they ran. So not only are we talking about the finals of an event for a game from 25 years ago, but we're also talking about an event that was only three rounds. And Warhammer 40,000, you can totally understand, right? There's sometimes hefty prices on the line, you get ITC standings points, you get a lot of clout, you can potentially even roll that clout into coaching services, promoting your YouTube channel, making videos about your own success. There's a lot of reason to cheat in Warhammer 40k. Not that you should if you if you do. Um, you need to leave. Get out of the hobby immediately. But in a game like Warhammer Fantasy Battle 6th edition that has not seen active support for almost 25 years, also so nobody really plays anymore and you're cheating in a three round tournament which is maybe eight players in the event i almost feel bad for you man like get a life holy crap maybe touch grass sometime leave your house do anything else with your time than cheat at warhammer fantasy battle 6th edition anyway this was clan carnus's video where they were commentating the finals of their three round tournament this was vampire counts versus high elves and the high elf player had the hubris to keep their dice stack next to the camera that was actively recording it. And over the course of the recording, it was found out that that dice stack did include dice that had only fives or sixes on it. This video is brought to you by Voxlink. And if you've been watching this channel for a little while, you know that I presented Voxlink to you in the past. And with the help of everyone who watched those videos and jumped on the original Voxlink Kickstarter, that was actually fully funded and is now available for use. This is a social media app for gamers by gamers. And right now it gives you the option to browse a wide variety of gaming content. You can see things like painting tutorials, battle reports about a wide variety of miniatures games that you select when you register for the app. I especially appreciate that it has a news feed for specific games that you can sign up for so you can see new news, community posts, and upcoming events for these games that you are specifically interested in. You can even then show off your own models to the community and get stuck in with some interesting discussions surrounding your favorite miniature games all within Voxlink. Not only that, but you can also browse creators in specific categories. So if you want to see videos specifically about the games that you're interested in, you can see which creators are currently 
active within those games. Even, it's yours truly. I'm right here. I only have four likes though, so let's get on in there and bump those rookie numbers up. We gotta beat Zorpa Zorp. So please download the app from the iOS or App Store. Go to that creator section, hit the little heart button next to Tactical Tortoise, and then also avail yourself of all of the other exciting features. What Voxlink is trying to create is not only a social media app, but also have the functionality to register for events and find players in your area. This is an absolutely invaluable resource for both new and returning players to the hobby. And the best way to get the word out is to join on. So go hop onto it in the iOS and Android store, and I'll see you on the Vox link. Now, obviously, Clan Carnutes, it looks like an absolutely wonderful community. They play nostalgic games, things like Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game and older editions of Warhammer Fantasy. They have a lot of very positive content hosted on their channel about these games. So I'm going to leave a link to the, the channel down in the video description. If you want to go check those out and check out some of those older games, especially if you like Spanish language content, please go check out their YouTube channel. No shade on these guys whatsoever. All they were doing is commentating over some gaming footage. However, this high elf player in this clip, absolutely yeah, shade on them. These dice were set in amongst their other dice, so they could have used them to batch roll and included dice that could just generally sort of skew the results in their favor. Now, I imagine that the goal of dice that were set like this is to roll within a batch roll of a lot of other dice because it's almost impossible to pick them out separately. Kudos to the eagle-eyed viewers over on Reddit who are able to pick out the dice from the pile. That that would just sort of skew the odds in their favor, just make their game plan that much more reliable. Now, in response to this controversy, obviously this image has been going around the Warhammer Fantasy sphere uh, with great alacrity. Clan Carnus has made an official statement within the description of their event that they added after the fact. Now, as a little bit of a caveat, this is all through Google Translate. The posts themselves are in Spanish and I'm uh, reading them after the fact, but the gist of the message is pretty clear. They said, and I quote, since the high elf player deliberately used rigged dice, we have proceeded to disqualify him and give the victory to his rival. So the winner of this event in particular was automatically the Vampire Counts player. They went on to further elaborate the incident in their pinned comment where they said, in view of what happened, we proceeded to disqualify said player, give the victory to the Vampire Counts player, the latter being the winner of the tournament based on that final score. At Clan Carnews, we have always liked to show this hobby with sportsmanship and also our personal touch with scenarios and personalized rules. Likewise, we communicate that we are totally opposed to this behavior, and this is demonstrated week after week on the channel, as well as in tournaments that we attend throughout Spain. Obviously, this doesn't seem like it is a poor reflection on Clan Carnews. The YouTube channel itself looks like it has a lot of really interesting content based on these older miniature games. These guys are miniature gaming fanatics the whole way through, so none of this should reflect poorly on the event organizers or the channel itself. As a little bit of a devil's advocate, there are ways that dice like this could be introduced to the dice pool without the player knowing. I have have personally received from well-reputed dice manufacturers, dice that have multiple facings of the same side. This is generally just a manufacturing defect, and especially at lower quantities, it's relatively easy to discern, but there are situations in which uh, if you're sifting through you know, hundreds and hundreds of dice, you may just simply not notice. However, in fairness, in my experience, this is typically something that happens to dice that have a facing that is unique, and it doesn't appear that the dice used in this example had a unique facing. So where a dice would have potentially a symbol instead of a one or a six within the manufacturing process when the dice was being etched, it may simply have been switched to the wrong side to have a particular facing etched. I've had dice that were meant to have the six facing etched instead have the one facing etched so it had potentially two sixes on it for example in this case it doesn't appear that that is what has happened instead the player is using generic dice that have all six facings as normal pips now adding this in after the fact and after having done a little bit of research i think i've actually found what is potentially the actual dice that this player is using, a set of two 16 millimeter loaded dice meant for, I think, some sort of gambling probably. One of the dice 
is set to have only fives, which we can clearly see in the photo. The other dice is set to have multiple facings of sixes and the rest of their facings be twos. I think it's three sixes and three twos. We can see that three of the facings on the dice in the picture are set to sixes. Uh, we don't know what the other facings are, but it could be that these are these loaded dice that have a two on the other side. Now this website also sells a 16 millimeter dice pack that looks like it matches the loaded dice, which looks to be honest, very similar to what the player is using in these videos. So it could be that they got these dice from a website like this one, or even this website in particular. And because these are the two dice that we see in the photo that have these alternate facings, I would hazard a guess that it is this loaded dice dice pack. Obviously, there is a little bit of a grain of salt that this could have been an honest mistake, but I'm going to be honest, there are multiple dice like this within the pool. It doesn't look like the pool is particularly big, and this does seem like something that if you were a player who were to be playing with these dice regularly, you would pick on Pom pretty quickly, and you would remove those dice from the pool if you noticed it. So kudos to the Ministry Gaming community and Clan Kamuz for calling this player out and ousting them from the tournament. We don't want this kind of behavior in our miniature gaming sphere. Get it out of here if you feel the need to cheat at any miniature game. Rethink your entire life and uh, maybe go, I don't know, um, look at the sky for a little while and maybe contemplate your existence. Because at the end of the day, the community would be better off either with you as a reformed person or just straight up without you. So let me know down in the comment section what you think about this situation. I've changed my setup recently and I have a lot of additional equipment coming in, some new lighting equipment. So hopefully the lighting is a little bit better as well as new cameras and stuff like that. Hopefully I can improve the production quality of my video going on into the not too distant future. So excited to see for that. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Thanks as well to Voxlink for sponsoring this video. Remember to keep it classy folks and have happy wargaming. Good stuff. Oh, I hope this comes out pretty good because otherwise I'm gonna be sad.